imagine throwing you out of school. I'll fix that college. I'll turn myself into a California student and upset the whole thing. <laughs> now, take it easy, Grandpa. Uh, there must be some explanation. Here's the notice they gave me at school. I just don't understand it. Tuition in arrears for the last quarter. The college told me I couldn't come back till it was paid. Oh, I was just so ashamed. But Lily, you handled the checkbook. Didn't, didn't you ever pay this? I'm almost sure I did. I'll look it up. This is most embarrassing. No one in our family has ever been thrown out of school since the time they caught Grandpa hanging from the rafters at Vassar. I only flew in there to get out of the rain. For two weeks? Yeah. I paid the gas bill, the telephone, our water hardening service. But can't you find a check stub for the tuition? I'm sorry, Marilyn. I was so sure that I paid it. Well, maybe it's just one of those checks I forgot to enter. Well, we can't let them treat our niece this way. That's right. I'll get down there and handle it. I'll throw a scare it to them. Uh, 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 no, no, Grandpa. I'll take care of this. I'll get down to that school tomorrow and straighten the whole thing out. Oh, thank you, Uncle Herman. But, but will you be able to take time off from the parlor tomorrow? I think I can duck out around 4 o'clock, and the boss will never miss me. Anyway, uh, he's going to be busy all afternoon interviewing new box boys. <laughs> what did you say this kid's name was again, Coach? Mallory. Who's Mallory? He's been playing high school basketball somewhere in Kentucky for the past six years. I mean, it took him six years to get through high school? Jerry, our scouts report show that this guy's got everything. Footwork like a gazelle, hands like a gorilla, and he's tall as a giraffe. Who's sponsoring him? The SPCA? <laughs> okay. So he's a big, dumb ape from the hills. But Dean Haggerty doesn't know that yet. We're going to enroll the moose on a scholarship, and by the time he flunks out, our team will get national recognition. And yours truly will have left Westbury for bigger and better things. Well, that Mallory was supposed to be here at 3.30. You suppose the bus was late? I don't know. First time in the city, maybe we should have met him. That big goon could be wandering around like some kind of a zombie. college education to figure out the signs. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 pardon me, sir. Uh, could you tell me how to get the deep? <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, I, I, I thought you were alive. <laughs> you, uh, you look just like my wife's brother standing there. <laughs> Maybe we ought to call the bus station. It's almost 4.30. Uh, we'll give this moose another 10 minutes. Maybe he can... Oh, uh, 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 pardon me, gentlemen. Uh, uh, could you help me? <laughs> you suppose this is a... Has to be. Couldn't be two like that. <laughs> Come on in. This is the place you're looking for. Oh, thank you. I'm looking for the dean's office. Uh, there's a matter of tuition I'd like to straighten out. Oh, don't worry. You'll get to see the dean, and we'll straighten out that little matter of tuition. Fine. Uh, first, I'd like to ask a few questions. Have a chair. Uh, all right. Um, could we get rid of this? <laughs> now, how tall are you? I'm uh, seven foot three. In your stocking feet? No, in my stocking feet, I'm seven foot four. I wear very thick socks. <laughs> well, you're uh, gonna take a pretty big sweatsuit, but I think we've got one around you can squeeze into. Sweatsuit? Yeah, no use you seeing the dean till we run you through a little tryout. How are you passing? Oh, pretty good. I passed two trucks in the station wagon on the way over here. <laughs> Jerry, show them where the locker room is. <laughs> Come on, Moose. Moose? <laughs> <laughs> you college kids and your nicknames. <laughs> Now, <laughs> well, uh, what do you think?
think. Oh. Pretty fancy bus depot, Moose. <laughs> Look, sell them paperback novels right out in the open. <laughs> I don't see none of them hotshot college fellers here to meet you. Well, uh, the bus was two hours late on a kind of hitting that mule. <laughs> Maybe them hotshot college fellers got tired of waiting on us. Hey, musta. Reckon Williams will have to track down the college herself. Well, we best get walking. Walking? Look, just as soon as you start basketballing it for that Westbury College, you ain't gonna have to do no more walking. Have your own corn vertebral. <laughs> you done lost me, Paul. How can a little old college basketball player afford a corn vertebral? Son, if you keep acting as dumb as you look, us Mallorys are in real trouble. <laughs> you just play with that little old ball and leave the thinking to me. Sorry, Paul. Well, we best get walking. <laughs> Give me a hand. <laughs> I just don't understand, gentlemen, why I can't see the dean now. <laughs> because one of the rules here says that before we see the dean, we have to play a little basketball. Now, we don't mind doing that for Kochi, do we? Well, I guess not. But I'll just bet you they don't have rules like this at Princeton. <laughs> oh, come on, Moosey. Let's see you sink a couple of baskets, huh? Uh, uh, that, that basket down there? That's right. Sure, if, if, if it'll get me to see the dean. Ugh. Yeah, but why don't you give yourself a break and get down there near the foul line and... <laughs> yeah, that's great. Let's see you do a few layups. You're fantastic. You really think so? <laughs> Just watch this. <laughs> demonstration, you don't need to see the dean. Uh, uh, but there's a matter of tuition. My boy, you just signed this paper, and believe me, you'll never have to worry about tuition again. Really? Oh. Well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, can I go and change my clothes and leave now? Sure, go ahead. Yeah, we'll be seeing you, Moose. Oh, thank you. Thank you. 